Most people who bother to occasionally watch my videos and if it actually gets noted by YouTube, and it might not because I've been along with this, this ride and that social media channel for a long time, recognize that people in the world are cyber crime experts, not at all that people get hit all the time by hackers. People get abused all the time by identity theft, and people also get abused regularly, psychologically, emotionally, spiritually, religiously, and intellectually, and often physically or sexually by people in their families. But when it comes to my placard, Dragon Priest, Light Provision, that is actually the name of my upcoming movie. And my upcoming movie is something that I've been working on for some time. I also have three other theatrical plays that I've been working on just off and on as I've been traveling in homelessness. And I like to call it traveling in homelessness because when I feel that I've timed out of a city, then I moved on. But I don't have the same heart muscles that I used to have from when I walked from jail in Indianapolis across the state line. And the people who've been listening for a while know my story and how the fact I only had help twice, only by people along that walk. And I slept in cornfields and I heard the howling of the wolves, but openly, thankfully, God led me every step of the way. And I have gone through days of starvation, I have gone through days of prosperity, and I have gone through days mainly with a lot of abuse from a lot of different likes and a lot of different sections of community. And openly you want to go, who the hell died and put me on a hit list? But literally, I just watched one of our peddlers, our panhandlers really is what he is, an, um, a mendicant, if you will, get up and walk out of his electrified wheelchair. And I'm pretty sure he did that because one of the bitches who's also a panhandler like him has been listening immorally, illegally, and without my consent, without my permission, without, not necessarily my knowledge because I've known for some time, but without my permission because I never, ever gave that video channel to them. So what I'm curious about is how these little networks work, how these little relationships with the retail level people work. Because a woman can be a good socialite, but if she's doing damage to people, she really needs to be put away for that. Stalking is illegal. Electronic stalking is immoral. And federally, it's totally illegal. So how do we handle this? Now, my video, my film, my theater production, and maybe someday my musical, if I get that sort of gumption to talk to someone I used to know who could do shit like that and made awards for that, is that openly it's my creation. Other things I've created in the past are now over with. What I create today is today, but what I create tomorrow means that what I did today is finished. 